smartphones back then used to look like that. But thanks to these, it now looks like this. And in some other products, wireless charging hubs were supposed to look like that. But because of challenges, it now looks like this. That, these, this, this, that, challenges, what this, is the story of a project planning mess up that happened a few years ago. One of many examples of unfinished Apple. Most devices closest to air power is barely like air power. In most cases, devices closest to air power looks like this. And some wireless charging devices today is a separate charger instead of a charging hub, making it look complicated for everyone. And because of this, Apple announced air power in their September event as a sneak peek, prematurely. So, what was this project and why did they cancel their plans? Last September 2017, Apple hosted their September event. They announced the Apple Watch Series 3, first generation Apple TV 4K, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, the iPhone 10, and the Air Power, as said again, as a sneak peek, prematurely because they thought technology today is viable and to let people wait. Air Power is basically a thin and compact wireless charging station. You just simply put some device there anywhere and it charges with an animation if you use an iPhone that is, and will also play the animation charge and show the other data of other devices like the Apple Watch, but on the iPhone without further explanation. And they said it is expected to release in early 2018, but in reality, it did not arrive. Then later in the year, they removed all its references in their website and was cancelled in 2019 by the development team over not being able to reach its high standards and the original Apple event video uploaded by Apple was deleted. <laughs> the reason why other charging hub devices are not having any problems is because companies did not thought of having all the same features like the air power. And this ambitious project would most likely be released if it weren't for a big screw up that happened in 2017 and 2018 before it was cancelled. There were three problems that caused the air power project to be cancelled. One of them is about its thermals, communication reliability, and technology. The first problem I will first explain is its thermals. According to leaks and someone, AirPower is going to use a multi-coil design that has 21 to 24 coils that is layered to remove entirely the black spot and to charge anywhere in the mat which causes overheating. And because of the Apple Watch's different way of charging, they had to feature two layers of charging coils, causing AirPower to end up getting super hot because of its thin and compact design Apple has promised. The second problem is about its communication reliability because as I said a while ago, it will swap the data and animation of its and other devices that is being charged onto the map. To make this happen, they had to throw in a custom chip inside it to send the data to an iPhone but failed miserably because of problems in establishing the communication. Not only that, air power can do charging prioritization right causing one device to have faster charging speed than the others. And the last problem is about its technology because of the lack of technological advancements causing mechanical interference, causing the air power to lose charging speed efficiency and heat up as much as the 12th generation Intel processor, maybe. They did made a get around to the problem but causes it to become more thicker and larger. Yes, they could have done that to also its previous problems but would break their promises that it would be thin and compact making it look ugly and maybe to have more dead spots. And that is why they cancelled the project. Actually, not really. There were little rumors still going around that air power is still in the works or they are working on a successor to it which could be reverse charging. So what? They were going to release air power but they didn't. But it matters to me and I'll show you why it does. As I said a while ago, most devices closest to air power is barely like air power. In most cases, devices closest to air power looks like this. And some wireless charging devices today is a separate charger instead of a charging hub, making it more messy and would probably require a little more work. But with air power, you can just throw your devices there effortlessly and if you want to check the data of all or one device, just check your iPhone. But will the air power ever be released? The answer is no. Not until technology has advanced much and they change their minds to release it. Truly, a great company like Apple wanted to make such innovative products like this along with many other companies but there were imperfections. And obviously, one of the failed plans of air power is just one of Apple's many failed plans and one chapter of the big and ongoing stories of unfinished Apple. <laughs>